Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to talk about Michael Brower's vocal delay setup. What he's got built into his template as starting points for his vocal delays. And I do say starting points because these are set up so they sound really good off the bat, but you can adjust as needed to fit the vibe of the song or the mix that you're going with right now. And Michael Brower kind of logically sorts these in his template from short to long delays. And let's dive right into it with the first delay, which is a tape delay from UAD, the Ampex ATR-102 delay. And let's go into the controls right away. First of all, he does not use stock settings over here in like the EQ section. So you can see there's a little bit of a push of the left and right shelf here. The hum is left default right up the middle. And you can see the rest of the settings we've got over here for the wow and flutter and crosstalk. The noise is off, the transformer is off as well. The tape delay, of course, is on. For some reason, Michael Brower leaves a 9% of the dry signal coming through. I'm sure if you put it to 100% wet, it would be fine as well. And this one has 84 milliseconds on the left, 114 milliseconds on the right. We've got the GP9 tape, the calibration at plus 7.5, uh, one inch tape modeling. And that is gonna be the basic delay we've got set up. After this delay though, he inserts a Waves REQ. You could use any EQ, of course, any digital EQ. He cuts out about 4 dB at 72 Hertz and then has a high shelf cut cutting out all that top end there. And the dry signal by itself, just a plain vocal sounds like this. She dresses in silver, acid tongue and the walls are bleeding. And now let me push up this Ampex tape delay. She dresses in silver, acid tongue and the walls are bleeding. So it's almost like a slap echo, really short echo time. That's our shortest one. Echo number two, delay number two, is going to be the UAD EP34. Of course, there's a bunch of other Echoplex plugins out there, classic tape delay. But one unique thing that Michael Brower does is insert a DBX160 before it to control that signal, drive that signal, level it out, going into the Echoplex. The settings on the DBX are the threshold just above that 0.3 here. Compression is all the way up, basically like a limiter here, and really driving hard into the delay. In terms of delay settings, you can see we've got down, up, up, down, up, up on the switches right there. You can read where they are. The echo repeats are kind of low set. The volume is really pushed to make it really gritty sounding. We've got a little bit of a pull out of the treble and bass, so a little bit of an EQ pull down. And the echo is at 345 milliseconds. So I will dial this one in by itself as the vocal plays. She dresses in silver. Acid tongue in, the walls are bleeding. So you can hear that really gritty tape delay in there. The next one we've got, we're moving up in time a little bit. This is our eighth note delay that Michael Brower uses. And this is the Korg Digital Delay SDD3000 from UAD. Really cool sounding older digital delay. We've of course got it set to eighth note here in effect one. The level is just below two here. The feedback just below one. We do have a low cut at 125 hertz. It's full wet on the effect here. Position is right up the middle. The wet solo is on. And we do have a little bit of modulation here, just above one on the intensity and frequency with our R&D waveform. So this by itself is basically a mono delay. In fact, let me bypass the second plugin we've got here. This is what this delay sounds like with the vocal. She dresses in silver. As a tongue in. The walls, the walls are bleeding. Are bleeding. So a really cool mono delay, but in order to give it some motion and depth, Michael Brower uses his own plugin from Waves, the Brower Motion here. And we've got this, it's basically an auto panner that goes back and forth. And he's got a setup that he has called Slap Mover. It's not one of the default presets in this plugin. So if you want to copy this and you've got this plugin, take a look at the settings we've got here. The path type is on X lights. It's on one eighth note. The pulse width is pushed up just a little bit. We've got the depth and width set right there, a little low for the depth, the width is pretty large. The trigger is simple, sensitivity straight up and down. Drive pushed up a little bit, ratio pushed up a little bit to about 32 or so. Slight high pass and low pass filtering as well. We've got the Panner 1 pushed a little hotter than Panner 2. The mix is 100%. And with Brower Motion, we get this sound to this delay. I'll dial it in as it plays. She dresses in silver. As the, As the tongue, tongue in, the walls, the walls are, bleeding. are bleeding. She 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 dresses, she dresses in silver. silver. As, As the tongue, tongue in, 
The walls are bleeding. It's a really cool stereo panning back and forth of that delay. Then we go even longer with our next delay. We've got the MCDSP EC300 plugin. This is in analog mode, trying to go for that old Bucket Brigade delay. The delay character is bright BBD. We've got it in dual delay mode as well. We've got some modulation dialed in right up here. The width is pushed up a little bit wider than normal. The input's also pushed up as well. We've got our feedback around 54% or so. Delay one is a quarter note delay. Delay two is set in milliseconds at 575 milliseconds. And like with all of these settings, sometimes that's adjusted. Sometimes it's a quarter on one side, eighth on the other, but you can dial it in to what character you want for that second delay time. Let me dial in the EC300 as it plays. She dresses in silver, acid tongue in, the walls are bleeding. She needs a vacation. So kind of a lo-fi long delay that fades out over a long period of time here. And if we're going to an even longer delay now, we've got the last normal delay here, which is the Waves H delay. And this is our half note delay. And this one's pretty cool because Michael Brower says you can use some modulation if you want or some lo-fi on this to really kind of trash it up, but it's set stock without any of that in it first. So of course, half note is what our delay time is synced to the session. Our feedback's pushed up pretty high. This one goes on for a long time. A little bit of high pass and low pass filtering, about 135, 36 hertz for the high pass. Low pass about 10.7K, fully wet of course, and the analog is off. This delay sounds like this as I dial it in. She dresses in silver, acid tongue in, the walls are bleeding. She needs a vacation from the horses and the screaming. You can hear that one goes on for a really long time. Bring that one down. There's one more delay that Michael Brower uses, but it's not a plugin that he uses. There are plugin versions of it, but he says they don't sound the same as the real deal. And that is the Benson Echo Rec, which is a magnetic plugin, has a really unique sound to it. If you want to try to copy that, by all means, I think Pulsar Audio makes an Echo Rec plugin. Check that one out, but I wanted to stick with the actual in-the-box stuff that he uses. So now what I'd like to do is dial a little bit of each of these delays in and see what kind of delay mix we can get from shortest to longest delay. She dresses in silver. Acid tongue in, the walls are bleeding. She needs a vacation from the horses and the screaming. She dresses in silver. Acid tongue in, the walls are bleeding. She needs a vacation from the horses and the screaming. So you may not use every delay on every song. You may like to dial in different amounts, depending if you're going for like a more intimate slap vibe or you want those really long delays. You could throw more effects on top, like distortion or saturation of some kind. You can really do whatever you want with these delays, but having them built into your template like Michael Brower does is a really quick and easy way to dial in delays from short to long for whatever situation you might need them in the mix. So there we go, another great tip courtesy of Michael Brower, his vocal delays that he has built into his template. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.